Here's an expensive gentleman's suit jacket made of pure wool. And unfortunately, there were burn holes. There could be moth holes uh, as well, but whatever hole, it makes no difference. The fabric is missing. If it's a burn hole, like I've done here, trim away the burnt edges first. Now, it's in a very difficult area on the lapel area, so to get there, I've cut away the lining so that I can get to the wrong side. And in order to do this, I find an easy way to hold everything in place is just to use a couple of pins because you need both hands to be able to organize yourself with what you're doing. So a few pins are just nice and helpful, some extra hands. Now, what we need to do is trim away a little of the loose edges here so we can chop up and use the extra fabric in the piece itself. So if you've got any loose threads, you can pull them out or just chop them off the edges there. And that way you've got the extra fabric that you need. Now I'm going to use the Bone Ash Fuse It powder to help me repair this and just roll that into a little ball, squash it between your fingers and then try and chop those fibers up nice and fine and the more time you spend here getting this back to what I call the fluff stage the better. Now mix it with a little bit of the fuse it powder and then just take enough of that and just roll it into a little ball in your fingers and then we're going to pop that into that hole, press it down nice and firmly, add a little bit more of the powder and then you need a little patch to cover it over. I'm just using a little bit of black lining here. Remember this is on the wrong side so once we put the lining back in place nobody's ever going to see this again. So just blow away any of that excess powder and just apply your fiberglass sheet. And remember, you always use the iron on the maximum cotton linen setting when you're working with the Fuse It powder, but by using the fiberglass sheet, that will actually protect the fabric. Now, if we just remove these pins, we're going to be able to flip this over again so we can get to the other side and do a little bit more of the heat on that side as well so we can completely fuse it back together. Now this, um, I always just recommend you leave it to sit for about half an hour or so so it's nicely set so that that way you can then send it to the dry cleaners, anything that you want to do there. So it allows you to kind of use the suit without having to send it to Goodwill or having to spend another $400 on a new one. 